All right, guys, we're back at the Salton Sea House doing some work. Um, I started doing some baseboards and some um, trim, like around a door. Kind of forgot to film. I'm good at doing that. You kind of get into it, but um, kind of pick it up in the middle here. So um, I always forget I can't flip my camera around. So I had to do this shit in pieces. But this is what I've got done so far. So I just have baseboards in this corner here, hooked up here. A little wider view for you guys to see. Um, and then baseboards here. And then I'm working on this um, trim around this door now. So that's what we'll pick up. But I forgot to film the first part of it. So you're getting it right in the middle. So I've already done this, but um, I have my 45 cut into the frame there. So you can see the door with the molding coming up. And then I have my 45 cut there. And then I just marked off where I need to cut my second 45 to bring it down to the other side of the door. So I'm about to make that cut now. And so I have my sliding and miter saw here with my marks made on where I need to make my cut. And then you just line up your saw blade with where you want your cut to be at. Make sure you get it right the first time. Usually I like to get it where I think is gonna be a little long in case I need to come back and trim a little off. So we'll make this cut. <laughs> All right, so I have my baseboard measured and cut um, and then pressed up against there. And actually, like I was saying, I went a little bit long which I'm glad I did because I think a little bit long is gonna be perfect with where I want this. So, we'll see. So we grab our brad nailer gun. Get yourself set up where you need to be. I'm just gonna put one in the middle just to hold it up. And that'll allow me to make any adjustments as I need to. So hopefully that'll fit. That holds that up there. And then if I need to kind of tweak it left or right, I can. And then make this cut on that baseboard there. And hopefully it all comes together. Or not baseboard, <laughs> door casing. So we get our casing in place here, where we want it. And get that lined up. And then you're gonna mark where you need to cut there. It's hard to do this in film. And then I just make a little note of where the 45 needs to go. And just a little mark, just to make sure that I remember that's the piece that needs to be cut away. I'll probably redo this without the camera so I could get it more accurate. All right, so back at the saw, I have it remarked up. I have everything lined up here. I'm gonna leave it a little longer than you think you need. Make your cut. All right, so back in the house, try to line this up. And as you can see, it's just a little too long, which is kind of what I've wanted. So I just come back and shave just a small little piece off of there and should fit just perfect. All right, so I got my right side piece shaved off to fit and then I'm just having a little bit of trouble getting that right corner to meet up. So I actually popped the top piece off and sh uh, just shaved off a little bit of the 45, which I didn't get on camera, but I got this nailed in and ready to go. I just finish putting this top piece back in. Kind of pull this down to bring it together. And 
and there you have a completed door casing. Take a look at it. So next step, cutting a little, little piece of baseboard there, and continue it down, and then corner it off here to meet with this little um, corner with my door casing already here from a semi-finished bedroom. So that's the next step. All right, so I've got my corner piece cut. So basically you put your 45 on that there and then just start shaving the flat edge closer and closer to where you need to be. So that's set and, and I'm in the right spot. So we'll nail her in and then move on to getting this next piece set in here. So spread your gun. And pop her in. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, I'll stop. <laughs> Hey! 